What's up, y'all? Kazax here. In this video, we'll be talking about some hideout crafts that I think are underrated and that you should know about. If this video ends up helping you guys out, or if you simply enjoy your viewing experience, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right, so I'm in the hideout now. I'm gonna go ahead and start explaining some crafting recipes you'll be able to make. The first craft takes 90 of the M855 bullets, takes one of the red gunpowder hawk, and it turns into 180 of the M856A1 bullets. Uh, this is available at workbench level two. This one is very good in earlier wipe. Right now, I still think you'll make money doing it, but a couple months after wipe, maybe prime time for this one. Either way, this is a good trade to make. A solid bullet if you'd like to use it and worth a good amount if you'd prefer, if you'd prefer to sell it. Okay, next up we have the M67 hand grenade times two, RDG 2B smoke grenade times one, and this turns into a green gunpowder eagle times one. This is available at workbench level two. So this trade is a good trade in general, but it's gonna be a lot cheaper and realistically make you money if you purchase the hand grenades that come from Peacekeeper loyalty level two after completing spot tour part two you're gonna get the cheapest m67 grenades this way if you're not here don't worry but i definitely recommend you make peacekeepers quest line a priority as you unlock some awesome stuff with them for more information about his early items that he has available check out our pathway for early success peacekeeper edition so right now the green gunpowder eagle sells for about 60k on the market and this is one of those crafts where you can make instant returns on your money as long as you can purchase the grenades from peacekeeper you could also use this gunpowder and some of the other recipes if you'd like and it may be more profitable to do so at later points in a while but at this time I find myself getting the most returns by just selling these gunpowders alone. So next up we have two of the expeditionary fuel tanks, metal cutting scissors, and three bolts and three screw nuts all turning into a magazine case. This is available at lavatory level two. So for this to be an efficient trade, make sure to use the fuel first in the tank before crafting this. I don't find crafting the fuel tanks in the lavatory to be cheaper than purchasing on the flea, so I just do that. And then go ahead and toss them in your generator, use them up in the power, take out the empty ones and turn them into this magazine case. These magazine cases are quite useful and they sell for about 155,000 rubles on the market right now. But if you want to really get the bang for your buck, save up three of these and follow this next crafting recipe. So that'll be a magazine case times three, metal cutting scissors times one, six bolts, and then three keck tape duct tapes. This all turns into a lucky scav junk box. So this is available at lavatory level two and this is one of the new trades they added in a recent patch since the mid 2020 wipe, I believe. This is how I really get my bang for my buck out of the used fuel that I turn into magazine cases and it sells for about 800k rubles on the market right now. Another quick trade that I want to mention is the heat exchange alkali surface washer times one, uh, soap times one, sodium bicarbonate times one, all turns into ox bleach times five. This is available at lavatory level two. And this ties back to my last video about underrated barters. It just makes the TV rig even cheaper to craft. So for more info about that, check out the underrated barters video and a link to that will be in the description. Okay, next up we have three times RAM, a solid state drive and a broken G phone all turning into a VPX flash storage modules times two. This is available at intelligence center level two. So the solid state drive is a little costly, yes, but you'll make basically double that if you sell both the VPX modules. Right now, the VPX modules sell for about 200,000 a piece, and that's about the same as the solid state drive itself. So all in all, you'd make 200,000-ish at the moment. So yeah, you can either sell the two VPX modules or you can turn them into graphics cards at the same intelligence center level two. Both are very good options with the GPUs selling at over 350,000 rubles right now. So beyond that, I have honestly not found anything in the med station or nutrition station all the way up to level three to be profitable to craft. So if you need Salawas for the first therapist task then of course do that but besides that i would make these pretty much only to unlock other hideout stations that are more profitable i will go ahead and just let these sit if you make them at the time of this video you'll simply be losing money or barely breaking even with fuel costs accounted for you're probably better off just purchasing anything you can make with these elsewhere so there, there's a ton of crafting recipes out there in this game and this is a constantly changing market and video game so please let us know in the comments if you have other recommendations for underrated hideout crafting recipes and let's all start a conversation about it. Speaking of a conversation, join our Discord to chat with myself, my content contribution team, and other great members of our community. If these helped you out, please drop us a like and subscribe for more content like this. So we're in the process of upgrading all of our studio equipment here at Calzax Gaming, so stay tuned for more videos, streams, and other gaming content coming your way quickly. After we finish revamping our studio, I'll be planning to stream on a set schedule, so I hope to catch you guys there for that. We also have a Discord available to join in the description. Thanks for watching, y'all, and catch you on the next one.